Hey y'all, it's Pia with Fingerprint Marketing coming to you live with another uh, What Pisses Pia Off? So thanks for joining me. We are live. Um, please give me some thumbs up if you like what we're talking about. Uh, today's going to be kind of controversial and I'm looking forward to uh, the conversation or debate. Um, I've been thinking about this uh, topic for about a year. I've been doing a ton of research on uh, charging my clients convenience fees, um, charging them a service fee, and then also speaking to my bookkeeper and my um, CPA, which if you need a bookkeeper or a CPA, I have great um, connections for you. But first, uh, let me get this out of the way. Um, again, this is Pia with Fingerprint Marketing coming to you live um, on What Pisses Pia Off. So last time I did a What Piss Pisses Pia Off, um, every I had a divided audience. Uh, well, about 75% of you said, oh, we love the title What Pisses Pia Off because it's pretty straightforward. Um, and it was pretty helpful, but then I had a small contingent that said, you know, it didn't sound very professional, and uh, what if your kids are watching, or, you know, what if your business colleagues are watching, um, seems like a little too edgy, so we started brainstorming and thinking, well, maybe I should call it uh, Pia's Pet Peeves in Marketing, which is kind of cute. Um, but it just doesn't have that edge. So in the comments below, if you could just give me um, what your preference is or what you think is uh, a better title for this series, that would be awesome. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Amy. Um, again, this is Pia with Fingerprint Marketing going live on Facebook. Um, today, we're talking convenience fees. So let's get started. So this is a great topic. Um, so this came, this topic came about because uh, I have been charged, received invoices from uh, a couple of vendors in the last few months uh, that have either service charge or convenience charge on their um, invoice. And none of them were invoices that, uh, none of them were billed were told that they were going to charge me this fee beforehand. So first of all, my first um, reaction is, oh my gosh, I didn't budget for this. Uh, hey Maggie, hi, thanks for joining. Um, I wasn't budgeting for this convenience fee because it, it, it gets quite large if, you're, if your invoice is large, right? You can get into the hundreds or gosh, even the thousands, depending on what your uh, vendor invoice is. Hey Kelly, hi. Oh, so Kelly likes pet peeves instead of what pisses pee off. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, give me some thumbs up and share if you guys like this video. Um, we're talking convenience and service fees. Anyway, so the reason why I'm talking about this is it was an element of surprise. It wasn't in my budget, um, and it left a bad taste in my mouth. Tell me what you guys think if you've had this experience where you've gotten an invoice from a vendor or a contractor, and they put that extra like 3% on the bottom and call it a service fee or convenience fee. Um, legally, you can't call it a surcharge. Um, I've done a lot of research around this, and you can't call it a surcharge. That is um, illegal to do that. So what people do is they tend to call it a service or convenience fee. So, hey, Gary. Long time I see. Hey, Renee. Hi. Thanks for joining. Um, so anyway, so the surprise element um, leaves a bad taste in my mouth, especially if I've been working with vendors for a while and then all of a sudden they're like, surprise, um, our fees have gone up and we're going to pass them on to you um, because that's essentially what they're doing, right? Is they're saying, oh my gosh, my vendor fee, my merchant fees, right? So what I mean by that is when you process a credit card, um, there are fees to you as a business owner that get tacked on there and it takes away from the bottom line, right? I mean, I'm a small business owner. I get it, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that you should have your clients pay for that convenience. So in my research, again, I spoke with Raj, who's an excellent CPA, um, and my bookkeeper, Georgine, and I've done tons of research, and here's what I found. So all the major credit cards, Visa, hey, Tanya, this is a great uh, great topic for you. Feel free to comment below. Um so I've actually researched on uh, Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and Discover. Discover doesn't really say much about it, but the big major ones uh, are pretty crystal clear. If you are going to tack on a surcharge, not a surcharge, a convenience fee or a, um, uh, what did I say, convenience fee, 
it's going to have to follow these rules. First of all, you have to tell your clients beforehand. It has to be on your website or it has to be spoken or it has to be in an email that gives them a heads up. Hey, here's my estimate. Here's my quote. I will be adding this plus taxes if you charge taxes for products. Um, and there will be a, a service fee. Now, what is the service fee, right? Technically, the service fee is a, it's supposed to be a convenience to me as the payer. Um, originally, it was a better convenience to me to pay by credit card. So for example, you go to the movie theater, um, you buy a ticket, right? And it is, hey, Marsha, hi, nice to see you. Um, you go to the, the movie theater and you buy a ticket. It's usually a face-to-face -face, um, transaction, right? So there's no extra fees. You buy your ticket. Now, if you decide that it's more convenient to you to do it online or do it over the phone or go to the kiosk inside the lobby, um, that is a convenience to you. You don't have to stand in line. Uh, you don't have to wait. You can get, well, you may have to stand in line, but it's a convenience. It's a true convenience to you. So in that case, you would see like maybe a dollar fifty added, like a flat fee. Hey, Amy, Amy Schmidt Towers in the house. Thanks for joining me. Um, anyway, we're talking movie theaters. So if you want a more convenient way of paying for a ticket, that fee, in my opinion, is, is valid, right? So, so going back to the major credit cards, their position is it has to be a convenience. For example, ask yourself, do I typically take cash and checks or do I typically take a credit card? If you typically take cash and checks, then go ahead and charge a service fee for the convenience of your um, clients paying via credit card. Because then in that case, it truly is a convenience to them because they can either do it more quickly or they can get their product faster, whatever that is. That is a true convenience fee. So again, hey, Nora. Hi, hi Bill. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Um, so we're talking about uh, whether to charge convenience or service uh, service fee on your um on your invoices, and I was talking about the big, the big three: Visa, Mastercard, um, Amex, and what their position is. So legally, you cannot call it a surcharge. Um, legally, or not legally, but their their position is that you have to tell them upfront. Them meaning your your vendors, your clients. You have to tell them that you're going to be charging a convenience fee or service fee for credit card. Um, and then third, it truly has to be a convenience. It has to be something that it's an alternative payment, accepting payments via credit cards. It can't be like, oh, well, we mostly charge by credit card. Um, we sometimes get checks and, and cash, but uh, mostly by credit card. Does that make sense to you guys? Um, I love this topic. I know it's super... Um, you know, people are really divided. Um, I've actually told a couple of vendors that, not a couple, um, I'd say one, that I'm not gonna do business with them anymore because they refuse to remove the service fee. Um, and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't angry about it. I just said, you know, it's just not something that leaves a good taste in my mouth because I feel like I'm paying for their business fees and that's just not right. I mean, I pay a good 1500 in merchant fees per month and that's actually been lowered thanks to my um thanks to who I do business with, Gravity Forms. Um hey Nora, hi. Hi Robert. So anyway, we're talking convenience fees and service uh service, char service charges. Um don't forget you guys, you have to pay sales tax on those fees, right? So when you collect them, um, you know, you got to look at how it balances out because you're going to have to pay taxes on those. Okay. So going back to the major three, I keep going back and forth. I apologize. I'm a little nervous. My second, um, live video. So the big three Amex v Visa and MasterCard, they all pretty much have the same position on, uh, whether or not you can charge convenience or service fees. And the third thing they say is that it cannot be a percentage. A lot of people don't realize this. They'll put like, you'll see 3% at the bottom. Um, and that's illegal. <laughs> that's against the rules of the credit card companies. You have to either charge a flat rate or you have to charge, um, yeah, just a flat or a fixed rate. So let's say, uh, you know, $3 per transaction. Hey, Emily, nice to see you. Hey, Melina. 
Um, so make sure that, uh, so if you are going to charge the convenience fee and you've said to yourself, you know what, I don't usually take credit cards or I prefer check or cash. That's another thing to ask yourself. Do I want to take more Visa or American Express? Maybe you just want to do more cash business. That's totally fine. Then I'm fine with, um, if you offer that alternative payment method is to charge the service fee, but please follow the rules. Okay. Because you don't, you don't want to be one of those businesses that fly under the radar and then later you're going to pay for it. Um, and also, you know, it's, you're representing your business. And if your client is savvy, like most of my clients are pretty business, business savvy and they get more educated about these convenience fees, they're going to, they're going to call you out on it. They're going to say, Hey, that is not a flat rate. Hey, you did not uh, tell me up front that you were going to charge me um, a flat rate. And or they'll say, hey, don't you normally take Visa or don't you normally take credit cards? So, you know, you're going to look you're going to look unprofessional. Hey, John, I think you're joining me from Sweden. That's awesome. Hope you're having a great time. Hey, Michelle. Um, thanks for joining us on Facebook Live. Hey, Howard. Um, so we're talking convenience and service fees. OK, so now you know what started this whole thing. Now you know what the uh, the major credit card companies, what their position is. Um, I've told you uh, what my CPA and uh, bookkeeper have said. Um, but you know what the bottom line is, truly? I mean, what we're talking about here is how does this look in the eyes of your client, right? Because it's so, the competition is so fierce. You guys feel it. Um, because we're in this digital age, everything is is changing so fast. So what do you what are you left with? You're left with customer service, how you feed your clients, how you serve your clients, you, your personality. That is all you have, people. You cannot compete on price. You cannot compete on the next widget because it's all been done. So what it boils down to is your relationship with your client. And if your client doesn't feel like they can trust you or that um, you're pulling a fast one on them, then you're going to lose them. And you may not lose them right away, but it's just this subconscious thing in their mind. Um, so if you are thinking about putting a convenience or service fee on, tacking it on, hey, Amy, tacking it on to your, your invoices, you might want to think about it. Um, I'm happy to talk to you guys about it because I'm really passionate about it. Um, I just think it, it, the bottom line is it's, it's a fee to do business. Um, people are getting online. They're making their credit card payments more often. Um, we have automatic, we use our phones, right? We use our phones to make payments. Um, so it, it, yeah, it is a convenience, but it's also convenience to me. I mean, I get paid faster. Um, when I'm closing a sale, I say, Hey, let's get started. Give me your credit card. I don't want to wait for a check. And most transactions I do are online and they're not face to face. Um, again, this depends on your industry. Hey, Amy, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, be sure to share, give thumbs up. Um, yeah, so that's the bottom line, right? It's, it's how you want to be perceived in the eyes of your client. So that's it. That's all I got. So I would love to know, first of all, do you guys charge convenience fees? If you don't feel comfortable telling me that, that's totally fine. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I would love to continue this conversation because I know, I suspect that this is going to get more heated um, before uh, before the, the rest of the year. So thanks for joining me in uh, What Pisses Pia Off. Let me know if you prefer What Pisses Pia Off or Pia's Pet Peeves in Marketing. And uh, I'm going to do this every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, whether I'm ready or not. <laughs> thanks to Amy Schmidt-Tower for uh, pushing me and Molly Mahoney on going live. I really appreciate and love you guys. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got. Bye.